but they want these as a throw to back of another deck of the year. This is the figure 25 deck. It's a book deck. It's from Cosmo Solano, designed by Cosmo Solano, from his website, SpectrumPointGuards.com, which you can check out there. There's actually two versions. There's also a limited edition, but it's pretty expensive. And the main difference, well, actually, I think there's two differences. Let's see. Oh, a speck is, I thought there was a speck of dust that's actually on my phone. <laughs> Anyways, I apologize. Let's get off it. The main difference uh, is just the the tuck case. I, I think the back design as well. I could be wrong. But it's designed to look like the expert at the card table book. It actually flips open. It's very cool. It's the expert at the card table in gold foil. On the one side, on the, on the front here, on the back there's nothing. And on the side here it says the expert at the card table. Illustrated Erdnays, just like the book. Open it up, you get the first page of the Erdnays book. Artifice, views, and separate views at the card table. Two dollars in price. That's not what the deck costs, though. Open up the back, you see the back design on the seal. There's, on this side, you get the book pages, same with the top and the bottom, which also says it's made by the USB-C. Unfortunately, you can see it's printing a little bit. I was concerned about that because it's overlaps. It's Damage waiting to happen. And the seal is a snap type seal with a spade pip on it. It's also a little bit awkward to open it up and get the cards out. Just a teeny bit. Nothing major. I think it's a very interesting idea though. There is, like I said, a limited edition one. I think there's only a thousand produced. Or actually, no, I think it's 300 produced. I don't remember exactly. But that one actually features like a hard cover, hard. It's like a. Uh, hardcover book as opposed to this one this one's more authentic to Erdnays I think because that's the kind of covers it has at least the one I have it is like that um, but yeah the other one's obviously a little sturdier and pricier and I believe the other one has a white back design whereas this one is green green and a gold you see the figure 25 on there doing the bottom deal and some gold details throughout. It's very nice. Nice color. Perfect for an ordinary deck. Centered pretty decently. You get a blank card. You also get a double backer. Always nice to have. Good for magic tricks. The Jokers. It says Joker on top, the bottom. SW Erdnays, and then you get that figure 25. And it says, if requested to determine from what single artifice the greatest advantage is derived, we would unhesitatingly hunt hesitatingly decide in favor of bottom dealing. So there you go. That's what Erdnay says himself. That's the best one. You had a Joker, uh, similar, same thing, except it says, there is but one pleasure in life greater than winning. That is, in making the hazard. The Ace of Spades, nice spade pip. You see some uh, handwork going on there, and it says Spectrum Point Card Company and copyrighted uh, Cosmo Solano on the bottom. And it's the only card in the deck that's like that because the other cards, they have standard faces as you can see, but they got pages or parts from the book within them. But if you really want to know what's going on there, you actually have to buy the book because you, it's all chopped up. You, know, you can't really figure it out unless... Uh, I don't think it works if you put it all together, like a big picture. Court cards are slanted. Again, you get that same thing going on in there. And same with the number cards. Um, I guess all things considering, considering the detail that went into the faces, the nice back design, the very interesting, unique top case, it's definitely worth the price. And you can still get them at SpectrumPointingCards.com. It is printed on a B stock. And Erica Sinfinis handles beautifully. It's very nice. I like it. I'm a fan of Cosmo Solano's work. Um, and this is probably, I think, my favorite Erdnay's deck. Aside from like the really the original green B1 that Dan and Dave played a part in years ago. I like it. I think it fits perfectly. 
hell of a lot better than the Illusionist ones. I highly recommend checking these ones out. I'm going to say 10. 10 out of 10. I like it. Well, okay, you know what? Uh, to be fair, I'm going to say 9.5 out of 10 for this version because of this. It's a minor, minor little thing. Outside of that, excellent deck. It's just tuck case is not this part of the tuck case. The flap is uh, not too sturdy, and also it's a little, teeny bit awkward to get the cards out because you're constantly fighting with the flap or whatever. Oh, look at that. <laughs> um, but if you get the hard case one, which is more money, uh, it's a bit pricier. Obviously, it's going to be better. So that is that. Check it out. Don't forget to check out CartableCoinCards.com. Use the code BJZ32 to save tech with that on the order. I like it. I recommend checking it out. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time with more.